First up for today, another person in custody at Metro Corrections has died. That's the seventh jail death since November. WDRB's Christy Batista spoke with a woman whose son was one of those inmates who died. Christy? Fallon Gill, it's been a few months since she lost her son, but she says every time she hears about another person dying behind these walls of the jail, those emotions come right back up to the surface. Seven deaths in four months. It's like, this is so bad. And just knowing that I'm not going to see him again. It's killing me. This woman's son was one of those inmates. Jail officials say he died a few months ago by suicide. She doesn't want to be named for legal reasons, but says hearing about more people dying at Metro Corrections brings everything back up again. They're neglecting their inmates. They're neglecting their needs and their human, their human rights. They're neglecting their human rights. And more problems at the jail. On Sunday, a corrections officer found an inmate who appeared to need help. Staff members believe he was under the influence. After a search of that inmate's living area, an officer was exposed to an unknown powdery substance and started to feel sick, symptoms of a drug exposure. Canines were brought in and found a small amount of meth, but it's not clear if that's connected. The number one thing we have is, is people trying to bring drugs in. Occasionally we'll have somebody try to smuggle in a weapon, um, but that's very rare. Most of the time it's drugs that people are trying to bring into the facility. Union President Daniel Johnson says they've gotten approval for a body scanner to detect contraband. On Saturday, a 32-year-old inmate died after being found unresponsive. The assistant director, Steve Durham, called it a medical emergency, but Johnson believes that was also drug-related. On Friday, three inmates were being booked when they had to be taken to the hospital. Staff determined they ingested fentanyl. One of them was still in the transit area, hadn't even been brought into the facility yet. So we do know that it's not just our facility, it's coming in from other areas as well. Um, but we need to do something to stop it and stop it at the door. And for family members grieving, they say changes need to happen immediately. We got to stop it. We got to stop it before anybody else dies. People are dying. It's so wrong. They should not go to jail and die. Now, he did reach out to the director and assistant director of the jail for an interview. Neither of them responded. In Louisville, Christy Batista, WDRB News.